Looks like I just found a new no-code web app builder that is a great alternative to Klein and Aider. Allow me to introduce Moment. Moment is an AI app builder that can create AI-powered apps to help you code out your front end and back end. And this is to overall help you create customizable web application with real-time iteration and refinement. This is all to ensure a smooth and efficient development process. Now on top of all of this, Moment's robust API integration is going to give you the capability to easily connect your project with any service, giving you the flexibility to scale and enhance your apps as needed. With Moment, you can also build and deploy AI apps and AI agents for various use cases. And this is essentially usable to help you integrate LMs while creating your web apps. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which is going to showcase how Moment empowers users to create AI agents without using any sort of code. This is where you're streamlining workflows and enhancing productivity with features like automated meeting schedules through WhatsApp or ticket creation from Slack conversations and collaborative AI agents working together. This is something that Moment simplifies by rooting the tasks. It also offers a customizable UI and backend workflow, which is going to allow users to tailor the platform to their specific needs. Moment is something that will enable efficient management of daily tasks while providing the flexibility to create personalized AI driven solutions. And this is something that we're going to be showcasing throughout today's video. So now that we have a better idea of what Moment is capable of doing, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how we can utilize it. So I'll be showcasing the ins and outs of it and how you can actually deploy AI agents and build your full stack application with it. So go over to moment.app, which I'll leave a link to as well as all the other links that I use in today's video in the description below. Once you are here, I want you to click on the start for free button. This will prompt open for you to register with an email account or with your Google account. So simply go ahead and register. Once you sign up, you'll then be sent over to the Moment Builder. This is where you're going to be able to utilize various components as well as functionalities to help you build out your application. In the center, we have three canvases for as to how our application would look on the desktop, the phone, as well as the tablet. You can either configure and add various components to fully build out your application. This is where you can add certain components to help you configure and build out how your application would look from the front end now what you can do on the right hand panel is where you're going to be able to configure these different components further and this is by changing the size the position as well as customizing the view of it now you can also change in and input various actions as well as having the ability to configure data and actions now you're also able to invite various collaborators to help you build out your application, which is really cool because this way you can invite other team members to help you build out your app. So now what I'm going to be doing is building an AI personal finance assistant using Moment's AI agent builder. The assistant will analyze and it will be able to track my spending habits based on the data that I provided. It will be also capable of categorizing my expenses and ultimately offering insights and advice on budget budgeting and saving. I'll develop this AI agent to handle the finance analysis as well as then connecting it to the front end and back end, all of which I'll be doing while directly building on moment.app as this is a powerful builder that lets you configure the front end, the back end and even develop an AI agent that you can hook up to it. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video and showcase this whole process. Now something I recommend that you do as a beginner is that you basically utilize the templates that Moment provides you. This way it's easy for you to easily get started. For example, they have a lot of free templates such as a SaaS corporate site as well as an AI feedback tool or an AI help center. These are great ways for you to easily get started with a simple template. So I'm going to go ahead and try out one of these templates. So I went along and I chose this template to basically create my app on as in the front end and having the AI agents then connected through the back end. Now, what we're going to be doing is developing the front end for this AI application. So what I'm going to do now is fast forward and showcase how I'm building through each of the components.
and looks like we are finished now this is a really basic app that i was capable of developing within a couple of seconds now obviously you can add more pages to it and make it look a lot better than what i was capable of doing but i was able, easily able to place down the necessary components and i was able to easily develop this beautiful front end for my personal ai finance app so now what we're going to be doing is going ahead and configuring the ai component as in developing the ai agent to be then connected to the front end and back end so let's get started click on this ai button on the top and i want you to click on get started now from here you can choose different ai models to help you build out your ai agent that could be used for your ai application next you can configure the max rounds which is where you can configure how many steps or how many times the model will invoke on something based on the number you input here you can also give the ai agent the ability to process images so if you're interested in that keep it as detailed but for now we're going to keep it as simple now in this case since we're building an ai personal finance assistant we're going to be collecting a couple of inputs so that the ai agent can assist us for the budgeting or providing assistance or advice on how to save better so in this case we're going to collect the inputs of our income as well as our expenses and i'll go ahead and add a couple of other things and set the predefined prompts but essentially for the role we're going to be providing what the role of this ai agent is the goal as to what it's supposed to be doing so providing advice on budgeting and saving and a couple of constraints and there we go now the role that i gave the ai agent is to analyze and categorize user income and expenses based on the input data that we get and in this case the goal is to identify the spending patterns and categorize expenses accurately from the following so for the income i have this input and i added the variable by clicking on this button over here and adding the ai input parameters that we set from the input over here and then i basically uh, split them up for the income and expenses and then i told it to offer uh, actionable budget tips based on the user spending and help the user stay within their budget and reach saving goals. I also provided a constraint which relies only on user provided data, focus on the basic budgeting. Next is the ability to provide context to your AI agent so that it could respond and understand your company's morals or what your AI agent is supposed to be predefined on. This is something that also utilizes RAG and the ability to also access third party APIs. In tools, you have action flows, meaning that you can have the AI agent take various sorts of actions in various milestones. You have APIs that you can connect based off the API section that we've just taken a look at. You're also able to have AI generate based off of what we have configured. And then you also have the ability to take your AI agent and make it obtain information based off the conversations. So if you would want to enable that, you can simply just click on this button. Now, after all the configurations have been made to the model setting, predefined prompts, inputs, context, tools, and outputs, you can actually test this out in the debug area. Now, before you even get to that, you need to click on publish and then you're gonna need to publish this to the backend. This is where the backend will be fully created by Moment and you don't even need to worry about configuring anything as it takes care of automating the whole process of setting up your backend. Now, what you can do is you can test this out. Say our income is $20,000 for the year and our expenses are $5,000. We can then start a conversation to see how this AI assistant is capable of answering the goals as well as the roles. So in this case, we can see that it is focusing on categorizing and identifying the spending habits of our income and expenses. So we have the breakdown and the remaining balance, which is the potential saving that we have, which is 15K. The budgeting advice is saving goals, uh, emergency funds, investment opportunities, and much more. This is all capable based off of the goal, role, and constraints that we had provided. So now we know that our AI agent is capable of providing uh, spending and budgeting advice. We're gonna now have it implemented into our front end so that anyone who has our link can access our application that we just created with Moment. So to do this, it's actually fairly easy. On this get started button that we had created, we can go over to the action tab and we can then define what sort of action we want to take. 
I actually have it so that this action is going to be taking me and navigating me to the AI page that I've created. This is a separate page where I had added the logo, the AI finance app title, and then the income input and the expense input. And if you are to click on this button, it will give you the exact same sort of analysis that we got when we were debugging. And it's fairly easy to set these components up. You just need to simply drag and drop various components and you can easily build out a page within minutes. And essentially what you wanna do is you wanna add a definition. And in this case, we have AI as a definition. So we would wanna start a conversation and we would wanna link it to the AI chatbot they've created and we can set the income and expenses here and you can see that if we are to publish this it would be able to give us the generation and the analysis based off the budget that we had provided and that's essentially how you can easily build an ai application and a full stack application that has your ai agents fully within it this is the capability that you get with moment and lastly, I just want to emphasize on one really cool feature, and that is the ability to monetize your AI agents. If you head over to the payment tab, you're going to be able to enable payment functions to collect payments inside your app from your users and customize transaction abilities. This is the flexibility that you get where you're capable of monetizing your AI agents, where you can easily have your AI agent connected to the front end. You can then have the ability to monetize your app. And this is where Moment makes it the, a really simple way for you to have a built-in payment and account system all configured within the editor. This is a setup that allows you to easily manage user accounts and payments without needing to handle any sort of complex backend code, making it straightforward to monetize your AI assistance directly. But that's essentially it for today's video on Moment App. This is a great way for you to easily build web applications with the help of AI integrated within them. This is something that you can easily do with their drag and drop builder. And it's essentially really, really easy for you to build these full stack applications. This is not your regular full stack app video where we just simply showcase a shell of an application. This is where you can easily manage components, integrate APIs, as well as having databases linked to it quite easily. Now, I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely recommend that you try this out with the link in the description. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord to access various AI subscriptions completely for free. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI yeah, news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas